Welcome to RPS Group of Schools Online Classes. Today, we'll start a new chapter, Synthetic Fibers and Plastics. First of all, let us recall what you have learned about fibers in the previous classes. Fibers are thin strands which are twisted and spun to form yarn or thread. Thread or yarn is weaved or knitted to make fabric. Fibers are used to make various useful items such as clothes, robes, mats, bed sheets, curtains, etc. Fibers are obtained from various sources such as plants, animals and chemical processes. Let us see some uses of fibers in day-to-day -day life. Fibers are used for making articles like clothes, ropes, socks, bed sheets, carpets and sterile gauze for wound dressing. Let us perform an activity. Fibers are used for making a large variety of household articles. Make a list of some articles made from fibers. Try to separate them into those made from natural fibers and those made from synthetic or artificial fibers. Make entries by forming a table as given below. For example, a foot mat is made up of jute. Jute is a natural fiber. Fill the table accordingly. Why did you label some fibers as artificial or synthetic? This is because you have read in previous classes that natural fibers like cotton, wool, silk, etc. are obtained from plants or animals. On the other hand, synthetic fibers are made by human beings. That is why they are called synthetic or man-made fibers. Let's discuss about types of fibers. In the previous classes, you have studied that fibers have been classified into two broad categories on the basis of their origin or sources. The two types of fibers are natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Fibers obtained from natural sources like plants and animals are called natural fibers. Jute, wool, silk, cotton, linen are examples of natural fibers. Natural fibers are classified into two categories as plant fibers and animal fibers. Fibers obtained from stem, bark, leaf, seed of plants are called plant fibers. Jute Cotton, coir and linen are examples of plant fibers. Fibers of plant origin like cotton and jute are formed of cellulose. These are some of the examples of plant fibers along with their pictures. 
Picture 1 shows cotton fiber which is obtained from cotton balls. Picture 2 shows flex also called linen obtained from flex plant. Picture 3 shows jute obtained from jute plant. Picture 4 shows coir which is also an example of plant fiber obtained from coconut. Let us see animal fibers. Fibers obtained from hair of animal or insect cocoon are called animal fibers. Wool and silk are examples of animal fibers. Wool fibers are formed of keratin protein. Silk fibers are made up of sericin and fibroin proteins. These picture shows the examples of animal fibers namely silk which is obtained from cocoon of silkworm and wool which is obtained from various animals. Now let us study about synthetic fibers in detail. Synthetic fibers are man-made fibers. They are also called artificial fibers. Synthetic fiber is a long chain made by chemical processing of two or more small units. Synthetic fibers are extensively used as an alternate to natural fibers. Like natural fibers, synthetic fibers are also made up of very large units called polymers. Synthetic fibers are obtained by chemical processing of petrochemicals. Synthetic fibers find uses ranging from many household articles like ropes, buckets, furniture, containers to highly specialized uses in aircrafts, ships, spacecrafts, healthcare, etc. Let us study about monomers and polymers. Try to recall the uniform pattern found in the necklace of beads joined with the help of a thread as shown in figure A. Or try to join a number of paper clips together to make a long chain as in figure B. Is there any similarity between the two? A synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is actually a chemical substance called monomer. Many such small units combine to form a large single unit called polymer. Let us study about monomers. The term monomer has been derived from two Greek words mono which means single or one and meros which means unit or part. All fibers are made up of small units. Single molecules that join together to form a long chain are called monomers. Thousands of monomers join together to form a large unit known as polymer. 
The process of joining together of monomers to form a polymer is known as polymerization. Let's take some examples of monomers. Thousands of glucose molecules join together to form a long chain polymer called cellulose. Vinyl chloride, which is an example of monomer, forms polyvinyl chloride. Amino acids are the monomers which form protein. Let's study about polymers. The term polymer has been derived from two Greek terms, poly which means many and meros which means unit or part. Polymer is a large unit formed by the joining of thousands of small units called monomers. All the fibers are made up of polymers. Protein and cellulose are examples of polymers. Let us take some more examples to understand polymers and monomers. Carbohydrate, a type of molecule made up of monomers called monosaccharides to form polymers called polysaccharides. Amino acid, which is a monomer, forms small chain called peptide or longer chains called proteins. Let us see some common examples of monomers and their polymers. You can note them in your notebook. Amino acid, which is a monomer, forms protein or peptides. Monosaccharide forms polysaccharide. The examples of polysaccharide are cellulose, starch and glycogen. Ethene is a monomer and it forms a polymer named polyethene. Vinyl chloride is a monomer which forms polyvinyl chloride. Styrene is another monomer which forms a polymer called polystyrene. Caprolectum forms polycaprolectum which is a polymer also known as nylon 6. This was all for today's class.